think with Jackie, she was just such an incredible woman and such a strong woman. And, you know, she has, in one of her final interviews, talked about, you know, she didn't want to be a burden to anyone at all. She was such an independent lady. You know, she'd been through a lot of things in her, her life. And, you know, when I would sit with her sometimes, she would talk about how, you know, she did things her way and she loved doing things her way now. She, she actually quite liked being her own at times, you know, just writing away in her office and just watching TV on her own later at night, but also surrounded by her family that she loves so much and, and her grandchildren too. So I think that's what it was. She just was quite a private person when it came to something as, as tragic as this. Well, you were uh, very good friends. Uh, mm. She came to your wedding um, and you've known her for a long time. What sort of, what sort of friend was she? She was an absolutely brilliant friend. I mean, she's done so many things for me that I could even really talk about. She is such... Oh, and it seems really weird talking about her in the past tense, you know. Philip, she was basically everything you wanted her to be and more. You know, before I met her, I was a fan. I'd read every single book. And then when I met her, I was an even bigger fan of her. She was such a lovely lady, such a caring lady. Uh, when I moved into to writing, um, she was like a mentor to me. She did the most wonderful things. Um, you know, when I moved here to America, um, I knew Jackie a little bit from the UK, but when I moved here, I... I, I was doing a, a show in a, a TV station here, and she wrote a personal note, a little handwritten note, which I still have to this day, welcoming me to America. And that was the kind of lady she was, just very thoughtful. Um, she'd have a party at her house. She would make sure you were involved. You know, people that I'd grown up watching as a kid, like Raquel Welch and Sidney Poitier, she would, you know, make sure that you got to meet them or sat with them for a while. Very caring and sharing lady. Well, her, her children have paid tribute to her, described her as living a wonderfully full life. Yeah, I think that's absolutely perfect. Um, I, I, I genuinely feel so lucky to have got to know Jackie, um, especially over the past uh, few years out here. And I loved nothing better than just sitting with her and just listening to her stories. And we would just gossip and gossip and, and laugh. And I don't feel like laughing now, but... You know, her wicked sense of humour would just come through so much and I really cherish those times that we had, but obviously my thoughts are with her daughters. Yes, absolutely. She was one of those people that uh, lit up a studio when she walked mm. in. She was a brilliant mm. guest, one of those yeah, really very, was. very oh, easy favorite. people to, to interview. We had so much fun with her in here um, mm. over the years. We've got, we've got one clip here which we, we wanted, because you, know, you can be very, very sad about these things, but I'm sure I mean, she'd want us to laugh uh, uh, as well. And this is... This this is a clip that we, we uh, dug out this morning. I hate to interrupt so you, but your, something your, your tea very is like tea is happening. <laughs> tea comes first, but right? It's incredible. The tea it's, is steaming it's and It's gone off rough, roughly on time here. I think here. it's going to explode. I'm a little bit scared and, it might yeah, explode Can you too. imagine that happening by the side of your bed? <laughs> uh, Philip, I think Morning. you should turn it off. That's a th there's boiling water flying out the top look, of it. You <laughs> just need to then... Watch yourself, Holly. Look, look, this is... A oh, <laughs> 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 oh, such, uh, such fun. Yeah. She said um, in her final interview, Ross, I've written five books since the diagnosis. I've lived my life. I've travelled all over the world. I've not turned down book tours. No one has ever known until now when I feel as though I should come out with it. Uh, now I want to save other people's lives. In what way do you think she will do that? I think making people aware of how they have to make sure they have regular checkups. Um, I can't even begin to imagine what she was going through towards the end. As you said, uh, you know, she was at her wedding and it was such a lovely moment. And she just looked like Jackie. You know, it was only, I would say, in the past week or so, and she'd emailed me and sent uh, a photograph to me. And I thought she just looked just a little bit thin, but even then I just, I didn't think too, too much about it. Um, but I think anything that she can you know, make people more aware of getting checks. Um, we'll hopefully, we hopefully do a lot of good. And, you know, th thankfully we do have all our books being left as an incredible legacy from an incredible woman.